Hi everyone, it's Sam from RetroTech. Today I'm going to do a quick demonstration about the proper tubing connections on your gauge setup and running a blower door as it differs between RetroTech and TEC, especially for running a blower door where you're pressurizing a building. When you're running a blower door test with a RetroTech gauge, whether if it's pressurization or depressurization, all you'll need is this red and yellow tube hooked up. When it comes to a TEC gauge, it gets a little more complicated. So if you're running a depressurization test, then you'll have your inputs here to measure fan pressure and here to measure pressure from the outside. But when you're pressurizing a building, you'll need to add this extra hose on the reference port on the B channel so that that port is referencing the outside instead of a pressurized space. Otherwise, it's going to make that leakage number think it's a lot higher by not canceling out the pressure that is induced by the blower door. The DM32 doesn't need this additional tube connected because the gauge is smart enough to know to cancel out that pressure induced by the blower door. When the blue input port on the A channel feels a positive pressure while a blower door is selected, it will mathematically remove that additional pressure from the equation. So hopefully as you can see here, uh, I have the uh, yellow hose here coming up to connect both gauges to measure fan pressure and I've split them off with this nylon T connector so that both gauges are reading the same fan pressure at the same time. Uh, same for a reference tube going to the outside. I have it teed off as well to connect it the same way. Uh, we have the uh, TEC blower door uh, installed in the RetroTech frame because we want both gauges to read and this blower door is the only fan that this DG700 will read. Um, the RetroTech will, will read both RetroTech and TEC fans. But uh, we have this adapter here that plugs in that will allow us to convert from the TEC stereo cable to the RetroTech Ethernet cable so that the RetroTech gauge can control the fan. So if you notice, we have the fan set up to pressurize the building. And uh, the point of this talk is to show the difference and how you set up your two gauges, the RetroTech versus the TEC. We'll first run this test with the additional hose removed from the DG700. So we'll go ahead and set our blower door to run at 50 pascals, pressurizing the house. We have the DG700 set to extrapolate to 50 pascals here. And so we'll go ahead and set our DM32 to do the same thing. And notice the difference that we have here in our reading. So we're almost at 50, or at about 1640 on the DM32. And we're over 2000 uh, CFM on the DG700. So that's quite a big difference. Uh, usually you'll have a reading that's 20% high in this scenario on the DG700 if that extra tubing is not connected. Now we'll run the test again with the tubing connected to the reference port on channel B of the DG700. That way that port is reading to outside instead of the pressurized space. So as we're ramping up our pressure, we can see that these numbers are starting to align a lot better than they were last time. Uh, it's not perfect, the gauges will vary a little bit, plus this DG700 is a little bit past its calibration date, but working well enough to show how important it is to add this tube on uh, to this port on this gauge when you're pressurizing a building. And again, the DM32 doesn't need this uh, extra tubing because it feels that positive pressure on that port and it knows to remove that pressure from the equation so that it can get a correct reading without having to run an extra tube. So no matter which brand you use to do blower door tests, it's important to make sure that you have your gauges set up correctly. Uh, whether if you're new to the industry or if you're new to a specific type of test, always reference your owner's manual to make sure that you are running everything according to the manufacturer's specs. Thanks for watching.